Hey guys, what's up? So today in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of uh, a car tire inflator by Next Digitron and also show you a demonstration of how you can go ahead and use it in your car. The car tire inflator or an air compressor is a very essential accessory for all car owners. So whenever we need to fill air in our car tires, we always have to visit the petrol bunk or the gas stations. But after you buy this car accessory, you can do it at your home itself or your office or wherever you want to even right in the middle of the highway when you're driving. Now this becomes a very useful tool because sometimes when there is less air pressure in our car while we are driving outside or due to some reason the car tire gets punctured and you have to replace it with a spare car tire and you need to fill up air in that, this accessory becomes extremely useful at that particular point of time. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the car tire inflator or the air compressor by Next Digitron. I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing of this and show you what exactly you get in the box. So let's get started with the unboxing. So guys, here is the parcel which I have just received. And uh, before we go ahead and open it up, let's take a look at the box itself. And at the front of the box, it says car air pump and the model number is ATJ1466. And here is a pictorial representation of the car air compressor on the right side of the box you can see the pictures of various things uh, for which it can be used in order to pump in the air it might be your car tires your bicycle tires it might be your rubber floatables or also the basketball or volleyball or footballs so you can use this for multiple purposes so let's just go ahead and open up the box and see what are the contents inside so guys, first of all, the next Digitron, they have provided a carry case for this uh, car air compressor. So this is a really thoughtful move and this is going to help you easily carry the air compressor around or keep it in a car safe from dust and dirt. So let's keep this aside for a while and uh, let's take out the compressor itself. So it nicely comes wrapped in a bubble wrap covering so that there is no damage during uh, transportation. And so guys, here is the car air pump or the car air inflator or car air compressor. You can call it via different names and it's a very smart looking, it's a very futuristic looking kind of a device. And uh, as you can see on the front of the device, there is a Next Digitron branding and they have provided a sticker which gives some initial instructions which you need to follow when you start up the instruments. So they have provided some certain important instructions which I guess uh, you guys need to go ahead and follow through. So here they have provided a space to put in the air pipe whenever you're not using this uh, air compressor or the air pump and here is the power cable which goes into the 12 volt socket of your car and here is the socket port or the socket adapter so guys it's a fairly small device and it's a very easy to hold easy to carry kind of a device and on top there are four buttons here r plus minus and a light button so this light button actually works here and this as you can see here they have provided a led light so you can use this at night so in case your car breaks down or for some reason you have to stop your car you can use this uh, tire inflator and keep this on the road and turn on this led so that the cars coming from behind you can get informed that you have stopped your car on the road so guys let's keep this down for a while and check out what else is uh, inside the box so guys here is the user manual of this device i guess you need to go through this and there are some technical specifications also provided and there is a detailed description of the device and also operating instructions the pressure control they have provided all the detailed information in this and also along with that they have provided a small package and in this small package you do get some adapters and also a extra fuse so this fuse is very important in case the original one blows out due to some kind of electrical variation they have provided a extra fuse and along with that there are some extra adapters here so these adapters you can use to inflate your bicycle tire or your balloons or your basketball volleyball kind of stuff and i think you should keep them in a safe place for future use so guys these are the two important things that are available in the box the tire inflator itself and the carry case in order to put this air inflator inside and carry it around easily or keep it in car without causing any sort of a harm or damage to the tire inflator so guys let's just go ahead and show you a demonstration of how this tire inflator works and how exactly you can use this in your car whenever the need arises so let's just go ahead the first thing which you need to do is connect the power outlet onto the 12 volt socket of the car so just turn back the tire inflator and as you can see there's a lot of wire here and this wire will be actually sufficient enough to uh, run the length of the entire car so that you can connect it to the all four tires so i'm just going to go ahead and take out this uh, rubber band which has been tied onto the wire so guys now that is removed and here is the 12 volt uh, adapter which plugs in into the 12 volt socket of your car so let me just go ahead and plug it inside so 
so there you go guys i have plugged it in into the 12 volt socket of my car so now i'm just going to go ahead and turn on the car there you go now the car is turned on so guys once that is done just pull out the tire inflator from inside the car so just bring it down here and let's place it right next to the tire here so before you place the tire inside just uh, take out this air hose or the air pipe from inside the tire inflator now it is boxed in in a closing area right here so there you go i'm just taking it out so once that comes off just place the tire inflator on the ground as you can see it has got rubber padding here so that it can hold on firmly on the ground so guys as you can see i have placed it down now so once that is done uh, let's go ahead and remove the air valve cap from the tire and once that gets removed so just take the hose or the adapter of the tire inflator and push it into the air valve socket so guys as soon as you plug in this air hose into the car air valve so it is going to show the current uh, air pressure inside the car and as you can see it is showing up the display i'm not sure if you are able to discern it or make it out so it is showing the current display as 37.6 psi and uh, the and the air pressure is written on top and the unit is written just below it so if i just press on this r button here it is going to show the pressure in bar units that is 2.60 and if i press it again it is going to show in kpa that is 260 and also along with that it shows in kg per cm square that is 2.65 so let me just go ahead and head back to the psi unit and the current pressure it is showing as 37.5 so if i need to set it i need to press the plus or minus button so let me just go ahead and select it at uh, about 38 so now it's starting to blink and once the blinking turns off it is ready to be started and here is the on and off button so if i just go ahead and press this button so guys if you can hear uh, the car tire inflator has started now it is compressing air and pushing the air inside the car tire now the car tire already had a decent amount of pressure inside it and that's why this turned off pretty fast but in your case if your car tire pressure is low this is exactly how you have to go ahead and use this car tire inflator to get the right tire pressure in your car so once that is done this device turns off you can go ahead and safely remove this plug and also one highlighting feature of this, this device is the led light below so it is giving out a red glow light and of course you can also go ahead and change this there is a light switch here so if you go ahead and press on the light switch uh, it turns off here and you have your white light then you have your red light and then you have your red blinking light and then it turns off so there are four different modes of lights and along with that the plus and minus button to adjust the tire pressure required and the r button is to change the unit of the tire pressure so guys this is how you have to use the tire inflator so let me just go ahead and show you how you have to remove this so just take out this plug and pull it out slowly and there you go it is as simple as that so in order to plug it in you just have to press it inside and once the air starts to hiss out you just have to push this switch in and it's done so guys let's go ahead and uh, remove this adapter just flip this switch and slowly pull it out and there you go there will be a slight air leakage and uh, that is not going to be of a major concern unless you leave it out for a long time uh, a tire leak an air leakage for a second or two is not going to matter much so just place back the air valve cap in its place and you're done so guys i hope you now have seen and understood how you can use this car tire inflator and use it to your own advantage and at certain critical situations like a tire puncture or replacing the spare tire and in general day-to-day -day basis whenever we need to fill up air in our car tires this becomes a very nice and a very useful accessory so guys if you're interested in purchasing this accessory for your car the link is provided in the description of this video so just go ahead and click down on the description you'll find the relevant purchase links and also along with that i have shown several different car accessories which you may have missed while watching my channel so also go ahead and watch some of those other car accessory review videos which are also provided in the description of this video and along with that the purchase links have also been provided right below also guys along with this if you're interested in checking out some other interesting car accessories you can go ahead and check out the nextdigitron.com website they are the authorized sales and service partners for 70my and ddpi all products you purchase will have one year warranty and also be eligible for service request since they have a dedicated service center located at Pune. I recommend you to go ahead and check this website out. And also guys before you go away make sure you have hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to like this video and if you have any sort of a queries or any sort of a doubts regarding this just write down in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you for watching guys this was the video for today and until next video see ya.